All right, so before you jump the gun at the title of this video, I want you to hear me out, hold back the dislikes for just a moment. Because there is a point to be had here, and also it is a positive point. So I don't want you thinking I'm hating on League of Legends. I don't want you thinking that I'm hating on, you know, Heroes of the Storm or whatever. There is a positive point and a positive message to be had here. So just, just, <coughs> just hang out, okay? Just chill for a second. Maybe like the video or subscribe or whatever. So Nexus Siege was just released on the PBE. Now this is obviously a very, very experimental build of Nexus Siege. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend giving it a shot if you have a PBE account. If you don't, there's a good chance that you were a very naughty, naughty boy and you don't have high enough honor, in which case I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, this very experimental build was released on the PBE yesterday. And... It's a lot of fun. It's actually a lot of fun. It's a little bit unbalanced, but it's still a lot of fun. Now, this game mode is, of course, uh, the 5v5, two-lane, two-jungle, weird, kind of really enclosed map that has a lot of events going on with it. If you haven't heard much about it, there's obviously going to be footage in the background to let you know what it is. You can have a look at it for yourself. It's... Don't take this as like the face value of it. Even all, every single asset in this game mode is reused in some way. So there's like the bilge water turrets are there. Uh, Rift Herald's there. All the parts of Summoner's Rift are used to compose the map. Uh, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head that I've spotted that is from another map there. But it's it's very familiar settings that you'll be very you'll be very used to playing on. But this was released, and upon reading about it. A little bit I could start to feel some vibes coming out of this um, that were related to Heroes of the Storm now if you don't know anything about me I've played a lot of Heroes of the Storm I'm like a couple hundred levels deep in Heroes of the Storm uh, which if you are a HOTS player that's probably not particularly impressive to you but as somebody who plays League of Legends as their main game getting several hundred levels on champions and Heroes of the Storm is no easy feat while you're juggling a different mobile game and if you're not aware, if you've never played Heroes of the Storm ever in your life, which is completely fine, and I don't blame you because there are issues with the game, the combat and the general focus on the, the game in Heroes of the Storm is quick objectives. Every single map in Heroes of the Storm, there is many, many maps. There's like a dozen maps you can play. Each has its very own specific objective that your team has to play for, and uh, every single, like, kill you get minion wise there's no gold you don't get gold from killing minions instead everybody shares xp so you don't have a single level you have a team level which is now i like this because it makes it a more casual experience i don't have to think too hard of it last setting that's pretty much the only reason why i like it after you've played league of legends for like eight years you play Heroes of the Storm and you realize you don't even have to care about last set and you can just attack the minions until they die and you get just as much benefits as you would as you did in League. Then you kind of think, ah, oh, well this is, this is, this is nice. There's no items in Heroes of the Storm either. But the main thing is, the games are very much focused on lots and lots of very small team fights. So, every time there's an objective up, they're kind of trying to force you into having a 5v5. And I think very much so... This is what League of Legends, this is what Riot Games are trying to do with Nexus Siege. And I think some people might not like that, but I think you definitely should enjoy and be excited for League of Legends finally taking a leaf out of that book. A book that I have been like really trying to encourage for a long time because it's very action packed and it's seriously enjoyable to play. So the idea behind it is... Uh, in Nexus Siege, a bunch of bunch of old items have been resurrected. You get XP globally, kind of. You get a little bit of XP globally. You obviously get more XP if you're next to the minions, but you do get a kind of passive over time. And every single time that you like you a minion is killed, you share gold if you're like nearby it. So you share gold, which means that you don't have to worry too much about last setting. Although if you do last hit, you get extra gold. And um, the the whole point about it is that there's events that take place every few minutes. The event could be anything. It could be a King of the Hill where you have to hold a point. It could be Push a Payload, which is uh, another a one from Heroes of the Storm also, funnily enough, that um, you basically just have to push a payload into an enemy tower and it destroys the tower. You don't do that in Heroes of the Storm, but very similar concept. There's also Bardo Royale, which is where a big circle closes in on the map and you are forced to basically 5v5 teamfight 
until there's only one left standing or one team left standing or whatever and then uh, you're basically perma dead until that that fight is over so you get to spectate if you die you get to spectate the fight and like actually really get involved in it because there's big consequences for whoever wins that fight um it's really exciting and cheering on your team and being like watching the clutch plays happen is really cool I'm not going to get into why I think League of Legends would make a really good Battle Royale game. That's for another video, but I'm seriously... I've said this to so many people that I think League of Legends would make a fantastic Battle Royale. And I have a proof of concept. And people have always said to me, no, don't do that, Ross. That's a terrible idea. But then I explain my concept to them, and they're like, you're, you're, you're right, Ross. That's a great idea. But uh, beyond that, there's like snowball fights. There's uh, a loot team mode that you can fight. Um, there's a bunch of stuff. Now, there are some issues with some of these um the bardo royale one in particular is a really great concept but it's incredibly imbalanced i literally like on the screen right now you'll see we had a 5v5 like bardo royale uh that we had to do between three of the enemy's turrets one of which is untargetable two of which are untargetable even um, i'm not really sure how we're supposed to win that when we weren't even winning to begin with uh, but that's pretty much what you have to do. You have to sometimes fight against the bullshit, and that's pretty much the situation with a lot of this game mode. Every single game is pretty much a hard stomp. It's kind of imbalanced right now, but I put that down to the fact that it's still very much in early development. Um, the buffs that you get from each uh, each win are very much varying in how overpowered they actually are. Um, the Blitzcrank pulls from minions are cool. Don't know if they have the most impact in the world, but stuff like getting a free GA for 90 seconds or getting a massive shield that is like half of my entire health pool, which seems a little bit, hmm, and it doesn't run out. It only gets taken off if you manage to damage me enough. It just seems like the first team that wins any event is pretty much the team that's going to win it. And that is, that's been my experience so far. There's even uh, a Heroes of the Storm uh, curse that is in Nexus Siege that is also in Heroes of the Storm. So there is a map on Heroes of the Storm where you have to capture altars, and if you do that, you curse the enemy minions, which leaves every single enemy minion uh, that spawns for the next like minute or so on one HP, and you basically have to like you push you you, you push really hard when you have that curse because you can push down anything. Every minion dies if you like look at it the wrong way. It's the same in Nexus, uh, Nexus Blitz, it's very much the same thing and I think that's kind of cool. I think it's about time that League start kind of picking a little bit out of column A and a little bit out of column B from other games that do certain things really well. So like, let's say Battle Rate, that does like 1 to 1 combat or 2 to 2 combat really well. Dota, they do stuff like events really well. They, their events are fantastic. The Invitationals, the Compendium, they're fantastic. Heroes of the Storm, it does objectives fantastic. Like, you cannot deny, like, Heroes of the Storm is like 90% fighting. Like, the game is 90% fighting. There's basically no laning phase. You can roam from level 1 if you want or like whatever. You can do whatever you want and it makes no difference. It, it can benefit you in some cases depending on what champion you're playing. Like that aspect of it, you can just pick that out, put it into another game mode. And I know like Riot are trying to like appeal to this casual audience, which I'm entirely all for. Um, but Summoner's Rift is not exactly the most casual experience. Like, waiting for 10 minutes in Summoner's Rift is not really the most exciting experience in the world. Sitting for 10 minutes farming and farming and farming and farming to potentially just lose the game anyway is not exactly the most new player friendly thing in the world. Whereas with Nexus Blitz, the farming is barely there. Like, you can farm if you want, but regardless of whether or not you last hit them or not, you still get the gold. You can get like you get XP over time and massively inflated XP as well. And the money is ridiculous. If you ever attack a loot team at all, you're basically a millionaire. You're basically Bill Gates and you can buy half the shop, which means that you get lots of items faster, which means that you can live out your power fantasy a lot faster. It's just the perfect game mode for new players. ARAM is not the best game mode for new players, although it is fun if you're a veteran. But I definitely don't think that if you are new to the game, 
that ARAM is going to help you out in any capacity. Like, it's just, it's not a good slice of the game to play if you want to get into League. Sure, you can learn what champion's abilities are, which is super duper important, I suppose, but it is just a mess. The game, like, it's great, but it's a mess. Like, you can't really learn the mechanics of the game very well, apart from team fighting in ARAM, uh, whereas, like, Nexus Blitz, you got a little bit of farming there. There is jungling, you can learn about the items, there's buffs, you can learn about them. There's there's a lot to it, and there's some definite horrible balance issues with it. Like, every game, Jesus Christ, is, is a bit of a stomp. Rengar, get the hell out of my game, but there's a lot of potential here. And it kind of makes me think, like, this is clearly made by, like, a couple of people that are, um, they, they just did it in their spare time. And it's interesting to wonder, like, how many other game modes these people have made and just kind of throw into the, like, throw on the floor because they didn't and think they were good enough. It's difficult to see whether or not as well the game will stand the test of time. So they're thinking about releasing this as a real game mode. There's no guarantees just yet, but they're considering releasing it as, like, a proper game mode that's going to be permanent, not just, like, um, or for what have you but the thing is it very much could be in the vein of the dominion like the, the dominion syndrome it gets put into the game people think it's great at first and then it just falls to the wayside it just disappears into the background and nobody really plays it until eventually it gets taken out so they're gonna really have to like make sure that this is actually halfway decent because otherwise it's just a waste of time but yeah I don't know what to say. You might get angry that I like Heroes of the Storm, but I, we can like we can like more than one game, and at least we is, is really implementing some of the good things about that game because Heroes of the Storm is fun, but it's got some horrible issues. Like the the main thing for me is the the Blizzard characters. I like playing the Blizzard characters. Obviously, I can't get that experience in League of Legends, but. If, if Riot could somehow steal all of the good things that Heroes has, then there'd be no reason to play it whatsoever anymore. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. If you guys played here, if you guys played Nexus Blitz yet, if you have, like, let me know down in the comment section what you think. Do you think it's gonna be one that actually does well after weeks? Like, would you be able to play a lot of it, or is it gonna be like Dominion or Earth or Air Earth, where you play a couple and then you get kind of sick of it and you never touch it again? Let me know. And while you're down there, if you could like the video as well. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Hope you did enjoy this video. It wasn't a big one because I'm still, you know, trying to get better at this damn game. But uh, I thought that this was something that was really interesting. And nobody really, I don't think really anybody plays Heroes of the Storm that does League YouTube. So, um, it's an interesting aspect that I can at least give. But yeah, take care. Have a good one, guys. See you later.